10,000 years ago, glaciers carved deep valleys that filled with icy waters. This was the creation of the Great Lakes, the largest freshwater system on Earth, covering more than 94,000 square miles and holding one-fifth of the world's fresh surface water. When European settlers arrived, they found forests, prairies, wetlands, and rivers teeming with wildlife. Eventually, towering cities sprouted up on the shores of Lakes Michigan, Huron, Erie, Superior, and Ontario, their prosperity fueled by the region's abundant natural resources. Today, these natural systems continue to provide. Northern forests filter the air and water while supplying us with essential products. Coastal wetlands and unspoiled rivers support valuable fisheries. Fertile lands support a diversity of crops, and scenic coastlines give us treasured places to form family memories. But prosperity has come at a cost. Now, many of the Great Lakes natural systems have been compromised. The way that we manage our lands and waters today will have a profound effect on the future of the natural world. We're looking at individual ecosystems throughout the region, developing innovative solutions that promote a healthy future for the Great Lakes. Traditionally, it's easy to think about conservation as protecting specific places, and we certainly do that. We're, we, we care about nature reserves, we care about beautiful places you go to, we care about uh, species, but we also have to care about how well the planet Earth functions and to what extent it will continue to function in a way that will support humans. And the Great Lakes are one of the most important systems in the world to support humans. And, and as we've scaled up our ambition to realize that's part of our responsibility, uh, the Great Lakes are sort of, you know, front row as a part of the global strategy. The Nature Conservancy has begun to bring its science to bear on what it really means to protect the Great Lakes, what human activities affect the lakes, how we can reshape those human activities to better the health of the lakes in a way that for the first time I have the sense that an environmental organization actually understands what it means to promote the health of the Great Lakes and is beginning to put together a practical, broad plan of action to make that happen. And it's exciting to watch them bring that together. To protect, restore, and maintain this global freshwater treasure, the Nature Conservancy has embarked on a large-scale, science-based plan to promote a sustainable future for the entire Great Lakes system. The Conservancy's Great Lakes project is working on the most critical natural systems within the region. Northern forests, watersheds, coastal and near shore areas, and the aquatic food web. At the same time, we are combating the threat of aquatic invasive species and adapting to climate change. Conservancy chapters in eight states and Canada are bringing together dedicated partners to ensure that the Great Lakes continue to provide the food, clean water, energy, and other benefits for our population. The Nature Conservancy is building on our strong tradition of conservation success by using a science-based approach to address the complex problems facing the Great Lakes for the benefit of people and nature. The Nature Conservancy's commitment to northern forests and the work that we're doing on the Two-Hearted is, is really important on a local level but it could be scaled up to a much larger level. And the idea is, is that through management, through the last hundred years, our forests have lost some of their ecological integrity. And what we're doing is we're trying to enhance and improve that ecological integrity. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna protect our forests for the future. It's gonna help us mitigate against climate change and things that we know are coming down the road. And the investment now is, I think, gonna pay much, much further into the future. The partnership between university scientists and the Nature Conservancy works so well because the Nature Conservancy brings an ability to synthesize, to ask the right questions, and to ask them at the right scale. And the university scientists bring a wealth of expertise that can be used to help resolve the very complex issues that are facing the Great Lakes. 
And the Nature Conservancy has been one of the leaders in sort of looking at the processes and the ecological functions um, and the linkages between the landscape and the lakes to try to find out where are the, the best places to do restoration activities in order to maximize the ecological benefits to the system. The Nature Conservancy's ability, tremendous ability, to work with conservation groups, to work with community groups, to work with industry and business throughout the Great Lakes region and come to not any one person's probably perfect solution, but to come for the best possible solutions for the whole region. For nature, for people, and for life.